Hey guys. guys, welcome back to The Traveling Swiss. If you are new here, my name is Alexis and I'm from the US. And I'm Louis, I'm Swiss. And together we live in Switzerland and our whole channel is about traveling and living in Switzerland and to make it easier and more accessible for you. So if that sounds interesting, make sure to click that subscribe button to stick around. In this video, we're gonna be continuing in our how-to transportation series <laughs> and this will be about the Eurail Pass. We get a lot of questions from you guys about the Eurail Pass because we know that when you're traveling to Europe, you're maybe not just traveling to Switzerland and you're gonna go around and you're interested in learning more about this pass, so that's what this video will be all about. And before we dive in, note that this pass is only for non-residents of Europe. If you are a resident of Europe, you can look at the Interrail Pass, but we are going to dive into the Eurail now. So if you've been watching our channel for a while, you're familiar with the Swiss Travel Pass, all the different pass options you have in Switzerland. The URL Pass has one key difference, and maybe you can tell by the name that it is not just for Switzerland, it is for Europe. So with this one pass, you have access to the trains across 33 countries. I'll have the map on the screen. So it's a really, really robust validity map. So you can buy this one train pass, and if you buy it just as a straight pass, you can buy it in increments of 15 days, 22 days, one, two, or three three months. So the intention of that pass is you're really going to be traveling quite a bit around mm -hmm. Europe. They also have a flex pass option, which we'll go into as well. And those you can buy in different day increments as long as they are used within a month. For example, you can get a four day flexi pass and you can use it on the 7th, 10th, 15th, and 25th as long as it's within a month. So those are the two main kind of pass options that we'll go into. So the way we're going to dive into this and structure this video is first, we're going to talk about what this pass covers in Europe, but in in Switzerland particularly and then maybe just as importantly we'll talk about what it does not cover yeah. that section will particularly focus on what it does not cover in Switzerland we'll compare it to some of the other passes that you're interested in then we'll talk through price and then last but not least we'll talk about some tips on deciding of this pass is right for you this is gonna be a lot of information but there are some key questions that we'll go through to decide whether or not this pass is gonna make sense for your itinerary and for your budget so without further ado let's get right into the video we are going to start with what it covers and start in Europe. So in Europe it's really really broad in the Western Europe and some of Eastern Europe will show you in a map but you can go anywhere from Portugal, Spain, France, Switzerland, Germany, the Netherlands and then to even Poland, Romania in and up to I think Greece and so this is a big coverage. This covers mostly trains but not only you also have some boats that are being covered for example in the Greek islands I think you need reservations but this is also something fun that it covers this if you have a big Euro trip planned. So the the really convenient thing about that Eurail Pass is that you for the most part don't need a reservation you can just jump on a train and just go wherever it's uh, leading to and this is actually a pretty nice feature of this pass you have some partners that require a reservation for example in Spain Renfe does I know and there are some others that will require some reservations as well but this is still giving you a lot of convenience and also sort of you have one ticket and you don't need to buy tickets every time and lose some time also when you want to just catch a train so this is not dissimilar to the way the Swiss travel pass works yep. for the most part you don't need any extra tickets but if you've watched our videos you know for some trains like Glacier Express and Bernina Express you need to make seat reservations so you can think about the URL pass really similarly for the most part this is ticketless traveling so if yeah. that's something that's interesting to you you don't know exactly when you're going to be traveling around Europe you plan on coming for a long time this is a really great feature of it as well. So what the Ural Pass covers in Switzerland is similar to what it covers in Europe. All of the trains are included. So all of those trains on the SVB line, whether you're going from Geneva to Zurich, Zurich down to Lugano or anything like that, all of those SVB trains are covered. Don't need a ticket, you don't need a reservation. All of those trains are covered. Things like the Glacier Express, the Bermanina Express, those mm -hmm. are covered as well. The seat reservation still applies. We've talked about that in past videos but the URL can work as your train ticket for those panoramic trains in Switzerland yeah. so there's a lot of things it covers in Switzerland there are some other unique things that it covers which are good to note so like Louis mentioned some boats in Europe are covered in the URL pass in Switzerland that applies to the boats on Lake Thun and Lake Brienne so the two lakes surrounding Interlaken the crew 
cruises on that, those are covered in the Euro Pass mm -hmm. as well. So if you have that pass and you're here in the summertime, take advantage yeah. of cruises on those two lakes. There's also a lot of discounts in Switzerland, but the predominant places that that pass covers are trains and boats on mm -hmm. those two lakes. So before we get into our next section, we want to thank our partner Manta Sleep for sponsoring this video. And thank you guys for supporting sponsors that support us because it really helps make this channel a sustainable business and community that we can focus on growing together. So without further ado, let's learn about the Manta Sleep Sleep Mask. So if you're watching this video, chances are that you're planning a long journey soon. Louie and I are on the road a lot and our parents to an infant. And it's important for us to be able to catch a little bit of sleep whenever we can. So whether we're on a train, plane, anywhere in between, the Mantis Sleep Mask provides 100% blackout anytime, anywhere, guaranteed. This mask is infinitely adjustable with detachable eye cups in different sizes that can be placed anywhere on the head strap. You'll be sure to have a perfect fit. So purchase today with our code for 10% off. There's a 60 day money back guarantee if you aren't satisfied, but we're confident that you will be. Okay, so in this section, probably just as important, if not more important than the last section, this is what it does not cover in Europe, but in particularly Switzerland. Mm -hmm. So your rail, as the name indicates, is primarily focused on rail. So all of the train is covered, but there's a lot of things that mean then it's not covered. So the first thing, which is important to know, is intercity transportation, whether you're in London or Zurich, is not covered with your rail. So that's your local transportation options like buses, trams, all of that will not be covered within the Eurorail Pass. For the exception there, if you are in a larger city with multiple railway stops, like Zurich has several different SBB train stations, those are covered, but if you're taking a tram or a local bus, those are not covered when you're traveling with the Eurorail Pass. Most boats in Europe are not covered with the Eurorail Pass. That applies to Switzerland outside of those two lakes around Interlaken that I mentioned. The boats are not covered in Switzerland with this pass. You will need to get a separate ticket sometimes at a discount. When you're considering this pass in Switzerland, it is important to note that Switzerland is unique in Europe in that a lot of its transportation, while they have many trains, a lot of their transportation is outside of a typical railway network because there are so many mountains. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Switzerland has a lot of gondolas and funiculars and mountain cogwheel trains. All things like that are also not going to be covered in this pass. There will be ranging discounts from nothing. Like the Gornergrat has no discount. The Glacier 3000 has no discount up to things with 50% discount, but most of the ones you can expect will be that 25% range, which is less than the half fare card and Swiss travel pass will yeah. give you for those same experiences. So most everything around Interlaken, including the Menlichen, the Hardekulm, the Jungfraujak, you'll get a 25% reduced ticket with the Eurail pass, but these are expensive train tickets. 25% yeah. while helpful is not much if you're going to be doing a lot of these experiences. So that's important to consider. The last kind of piece of information before we move into the prices and tips and tricks of who we think this is most important for is if you're interested in museums and castles as well, the local passes and the Swiss travel pass in Switzerland do cover this. I know we've mentioned that in a few videos, but the Euro pass does not. So you can't use the Euro pass to get those discounted or free admissions into the museums and castles, so if that's also mm -hmm. something that's on your itinerary, just have that in mind. And also what's not included is a discount on these regional passes. For example, you can get a discount with the half fare card on the Berner Oberland uh, pass or the Jungfrau passes, but you cannot get a discount with the Euro pass on these passes. So that's also something to consider. Exactly. So if you're trying to stack the passes, the URL yeah. pass will kind of live independently of mm -hmm. those ones within Switzerland and that's by design. So now this kind of back section of the video will be helpful in really deciding if this pass is right for you and that starts with the price. The prices vary with the URL pass and they have different pricing structures than the passes in Switzerland because there's different age brackets. So with the URL pass until the age of 11, you travel free. 12 to 27 is considered youth. So there's a much wider kind of category of what's considered a youth travel with the URL pass. And then 28 plus is considered adult and then 60 plus you have a senior pricing. Prices I'll be talking about here will be the adult prices. So there are so many options to buy for this pass starting from 
four days within one month. So those are non-consecutive days up until three months. So the prices of course vary tremendously. The one kind of in the middle that aligns with the Swiss travel pass is that 15 day pass. The 15 day URL pass is 498 US dollars and the 15 day Swiss travel pass is 429 francs, which is probably about at this current moment, 450 US dollars about that. So the prices aren't super different. It's a little bit more expensive for the URL pass, but you get a wider network as well. So that's significant to consider. So there's a lot of different options. Again, what's on the screen is for adults. This is free if you're a child until the age of 11 and discounted if you are up until the age of 27 or over the age of 60. So the pricing information is on the screen right now. It's also linked in the description, but this is just kind of an example of the prices you can expect when purchasing this year rail pass. So in this next section, I'm going to quickly compare kind of the Swiss travel pass and the URL pass. So in terms of area validity, you have a much wider validity if you want to go around in Europe for the URL pass, but the Swiss travel pass covers in Switzerland much more. It covers the buses, the older boats. It covers also some mountain trains and gives you a lot more discounts on some gondolas and mountain trains in Switzerland. In the Swiss Trail Pass, you also have access to 500 plus different museums in Switzerland. So this is something to consider as Alexis was saying. And finally, you also have some discounts that are given on other Swiss regional passes. For example, the Berner Oberland Pass has discounts when you are a Swiss Trial Pass holder. So this is pretty nice with the Swiss Trial Pass. It does not work with the Top of Europe Pass, but the Berner Oberland Pass works with the Swiss Trial Pass. Okay, so don't exit the video yet. I know that was a lot of information <laughs> and you're probably like, I'm so much more confused than when I started this video. So this last section, we're gonna go through some key kind of questions that you can ask yourself to see if this URL pass is right for you. So question number one is, Am I traveling a lot throughout Europe? If so, the URL pass is gonna be a better option than just getting the travel passes within Switzerland. The URL pass has a much greater railway network. The passes in Switzerland are really just focused within Switzerland, of course. So if you're gonna be traveling all over Europe and taking your time, the URL pass is a better option. Now there's also some instances where if you'll be in Switzerland, the URL pass can be a great option. So the next thing to ask yourself is, am I going to be spending most of my trip within cities? If so, mm -hmm. the URL pass again can yeah. be a good option for you. The URL pass will get you to all of those different cities within Switzerland. It will get you to Geneva, it will get you to Zurich, and it will get you on the railway around. And if you're staying in those locations, you're going to get a guest card from the hotels, which will give you access to that public transportation that is not included on the URL pass. So if you're spending a lot of your time in Switzerland cities, Basel, Bern, Lucerne, Geneva, Zurich, etc. The Euro Pass again can be a great option mm -hmm. and in certain instances can be a little bit cheaper than buying some of the Swiss passes. Yes. The next thing to ask yourself if you're going to be in Switzerland for a lot of the trip is are you going to be spending a lot of your time in the mountains? If yes, then I would say it's a resounding no for yeah. this pass. Mm -hmm. This pass really does not make sense. I get a lot of DMs and comments asking if they should buy the Euro Pass because they're going to be going to all these different mountains and they think they found like a cheaper hack. You didn't and my answer to those questions is always no. You cannot use the URL to go to the Jungfraujoch. You cannot use your rail to go to Zermatt up into the mountains. So if you're going to be spending your time in the mountains, it's best to consider either the Swiss Travel Pass or Half Fair Court or maybe even better one of those railway passes. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't buy the URL pass. That means if you're spending a lot of time outside of Europe, you can get the URL pass, but I would get it mm -hmm. in conjunction with the pass in Switzerland. The URL pass will be no good for you to mm -hmm. use in the mountains. There's a lot of better options and check that playlist here. Yeah, so for example, the Berner Oberland Pass or the Top of Europe Pass will be a great addition if you really want to do mountains within the Jungfrau region, for example. So that's it for us, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope this helps and doesn't make things more confusing for you <laughs> in making your decision of what train passes to get in Switzerland. And this is also considerable outside of Switzerland as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you still feel like you need more one-on-one -on -one help, Louis takes one-on-one -on -one video consultations. I love just, it. And the price we think is really reasonable and Louis will check in with you on your itinerary, connect with you for 45 minutes on a one-on-one -on -one video chat. He loves meeting you guys. He's our resident Swiss 
expert and will help you <laughs> curate your vacation, curate your itinerary in Switzerland and can help you make decisions on what passes and make most sense as well. If you <laughs> like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, or you can support us by buying us a virtual coffee here. As always, thank you guys again so much for watching. We really appreciate it and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys. Bye guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, please make sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you soon.